Well, good morning. Welcome back to the Almost Daily Vlog. It is Thursday. The weekend is almost here. It's almost lunchtime. I'm taking a break from my work because I want to come down and check on the chickens because over the course of this week, our chickens have been like in high egg production. We started off with like, I don't know, eight the first day or something like that, or seven. I don't remember, but yesterday we got 11 eggs. The day before that, we got 10 eggs. So I want to get out of here because I know they lay their eggs early in the morning and I want to get as many eggs as possible without them damaging. Like we had our first green egg this week, but it was damaged and so I wasn't able to really use it. I had to get rid of it because it was already cracked. So I want to get out here and I want to see. Now I'm vlogging this because yesterday we got 11 eggs. We got six in the morning and then we got five more when I went to lock them up at night. Actually it wasn't quite nighttime yet. It was just before dinner. So today, let's see what we got. Uh oh. Ah, not good. We've got one so far. I can see a broken shell in the back, which means there's been there's been an egg that's gotten cracked. And I see one more on the other side. So I'm gonna go grab that one. But it looks like we might not have the number today that we had yesterday. And there's a cracked one in there. And I know that they'll do that. If if I don't get them out, they'll they'll get to them. And it looks like they did. Actually, oh no. It's worse than just one egg. What did you girls do? Look at this. One, two, so at least two eggs have, I don't know, gone the way of the chickens, I guess. That is a bummer. Oh well, the day's not over yet. We still might get some more, but it is what it is. You know, chickens are chickens. They're gonna do what chickens do. I'm just gonna make sure there's nothing in the, the run. Sometimes they fight over space where they're laying, and I've seen a couple eggs in the run because they can't get into the coop. But it looks like we're in pretty good shape right now. Got pretty cold last night. We've had a couple days where it has been absolutely beautiful outside. We've been hitting mid to upper 60s, but last night it got cold. And even right now, I think we're still only in the upper 30s, maybe low 40s. So it's considerably colder than what it's been this week so but we're rolling into a, a really nice weekend and I think it's time to get in and do some work inside of the run and what I mean by that is so I've been trying to do a deep bedding um, in the run and in the bottom of the coop and what that is is you let um, the droppings and things stay and you continue to cover them with wood chips and straws and other things and so I've just been adding more and more and more straw and it's been awesome because there's no smell. And what they do is, as the chickens do what chickens do, they scratch and they get into the, the straw and they dig it up with the dirt underneath and it all just breaks down. And it's been awesome. Braxy, hello. This wants to come down and play. But they just keep on scratching it up and turning it up. But I think it's time to get in there and clean some of it out. And uh, if the weekend holds and is warm enough, we're going to be doing that this weekend. But look at these girls. They all want to say hi. Hello, ladies. Hello, hello. What's that? You doing camera? Yeah, so super excited with the chickens right now. They're all doing so, so good. And like I said, egg production. It's on an all-time high. So, I know a number of people have already started asking, hey, can we get some eggs from you guys? And we're going to get back to that, but I think we're going to build up our own personal stock a little bit so that we have some eggs. What happened a couple times earlier are when the chicks were, you know, when the chickens were doing pretty well before the winter, we were selling faster than we were um, being able to keep so that we would get the eggs in and we'd be selling a dozen, two dozen, three dozen, and there'd be no eggs for less for us. And so I don't want to get in that spot again. I mean, part of having the chickens is so that we get our farm fresh eggs. Like we want the eggs too, but we also want to share them. So what I think we're going to do is we're going to build up a little bit of our stock first, and then we'll start making the eggs available again 
Um, and so maybe by next week or the week after or something like that, we'll be in that place to do that. That is if the weather stays nice and the chickens keep laying like they're laying. Uh, and today we've got two eggs. Looks like they broke two already. And so we've been averaging, well, yeah, it's hard to say what we've been averaging because it's been changing. Like the one day they gave us 11 eggs, 11 eggs. I can't remember the last time I got 11 eggs from the 14 chickens that we have. So that was, that was really good. But we've been averaging like six to eight eggs a day prior to this week. Um, so if that continues, we should be able to put some in, away in our fridge and, and hold on to it and then be able to start sharing our eggs again. And uh, I shared with you guys, I think in an earlier vlog, we're looking to get our next round of chickens, which we'll probably do about mid-March. We have one more ministry-related trip that we have to go on. And then when we come back for that, we will get our next a new season of eggs or a new season of chickens maybe a few ducks i really want to get a couple turkeys and we want to look at getting some meat birds i probably won't get the meat birds until closer to the summer because what i gotta do is i have to get down here into the woods and create a space for them so that they can kind of graze and be safe um they won't be static like our chickens have a static run we don't move the run i'm not planning to move the run i'm only going to keep on making the run better but the meat birds are gonna be somewhere down here at the bottom of the yard and they're gonna to need to be moved every couple of days and so I gotta clear out some of our lower part of the, the yard there to get that ready. Um, we also wanna get more chickens and so more chickens won't fit in this coop. The coop's already at its max. It's, it's a 15 chicken coop. I've got 14 chickens in there. Um, I could probably modify it a little bit and create a, a bigger space for them but I also don't want to disturb the chickens that are there because, you know, they've kind of got their thing going and it works and, you know, you disturb them. Stop, stop. You disturb them and you're gonna, you could potentially mess up their, their laying schedule and they won't, they won't keep laying. Um, so I've got to think about how we're going to get another coop, whether I build one or buy one. I don't know yet, but we're going to have to figure that out probably in the next month or so. Because once we get the chicks here, they can only be in the brooder for a couple weeks. And then they'll need to go into whatever is going to be their home. So, got lots to do. Lots to think about. Lots to figure out still. But, yeah. Another beautiful day. It's cold, but it's, it's beautiful. Sky is blue. It feels like a late, a late day in winter. Um, almost before spring comes in. Um, but, yeah, we got some work to do in our yard. I don't know if we'll get to it this weekend, but if we keep on getting these warmer weekends, we're gonna get started outside a little earlier than usual um, and get this place kind of all keyed up and ready for summer and for planting and uh, getting everything ready. All right, that's about it for today. Just wanted to check in, share with you guys. We're doing so good with eggs. So excited about all of that. Um, if you ever have questions about the chickens that we raise and the eggs that we raise and what we're doing, love to field those questions for you. I know I've had a com some conversations with some folks who are local who have just been like asking me a ton of questions about raising chickens and what do we do and um, different techniques and things like that. And I'm not an expert, but I feel like I've learned a lot over the last couple of years. Um, and I've been watching a number of great, um, would you hush? You are being a little, um, I watch a number of of great resources on YouTube. People who raise their chickens and have little uh, homesteads and farmettes. And so we've been learning and learning and learning and applying a lot of what we're learning to what we're doing with our chickens. And I think that's why we have so much success right now with our 14 chickens, um, because we've been, we've been learning and it's been good. And we wanna keep that going. So if you have questions, ask them. If I can answer it, I will. Um, if I can't, I'll, f I'll try to find an answer for you. Or maybe hook you up with one of the resources um, that I, I follow and learn from. So, all right. Rex is not happy. I'm outside. He's inside. He wants to be where I am. So let me just wrap this up. Say thank you so much for watching. Hope you're having a great week. It has been a, it's been a really good week here this week. And I'm so excited. It's just, I can't wait for the summer to come. And finally moving on some of our grand stuff. But uh, if you've subscribed, thanks for subscribing. If you haven't, consider subscribing. Um, join us. We're going to 
keep going on with this whole vlog thing and, and see where it goes. I know it's good for me. Uh, I'm learning so much and it's fun to share those things with you guys. Um, but leave your comments and your questions below and uh, I'll see you next time right here on the Almost Daily Vlog at Life in the Hindhouse. Later.